News of Queen Elizabeth II's passing sparked an outpouring of grief, grief throughout the UK and around the world, really. And with the end of her reign comes many questions about what the future holds. So joining us this morning with more on the 70-year-long reign is American Viscountess Julie Montague. Welcome, Julie. Thank you so much for having me. And you are coming to us from, from the motherland. From the UK. Right? Mm -hmm. From, I'm coming from England. That's exactly right. So, um, and it's, you know, we woke up this morning here and, of course, across the world with just real heartbreak and sadness. Um, I think that, you, I think everybody was, of course, expecting this. Mm. She was 96, but it just happened so mm -hmm. Quickly, It wasn't long and prolonged, but, you know, when you look back at her past year and the amount of engagements that she was canceling, the limited amount that we saw her over the Platinum Jubilee, you know, only seeing her twice at the beginning and the end of the Jubilee celebrations on that balcony, and, of course, handing over more and more of her responsibilities to, uh, to Charles, now King Charles III, um, of course, the writing was there. It's just when when it happens, it's still very, very hard to take. Now, of course, she was the longest reigning monarch, 70 years. What sort of legacy? I mean, it's a tremendous legacy. Tell us a little bit about the legacy she's leaving behind. It's really hard to put into words. I mean, how do you how do you encapsulate 70 years of this really global icon, um, a pillar of strength and unity and and of constancy? But I, for me personally, you know, when I go through a lot of her achievements, one that really stands out for me, and I think one that many people don't know about or that they forget, is you know she was very much supporting the. Um, the succession to the Crown Act, which meant that, you know, after 300 years of having uh, it being inherited by a male, she supported that. So when, you know, uh, Kate and William were, uh, you know, eventually going to have a baby before Prince George was born, you know, she supported the act that it had Prince George been a girl, sure. um, she would have succeeded to to the throne. And so it gave this equal opportunity for women uh, and daughters to succeed the throne moving forward. She was so very modern, I think, and that, that certainly gets lost because mm -hmm. I, as an American, and I think of the UK, it is such an older country than the United States, but she was very much a modern leader. But Julie, I wonder, since you are there, Tell us a little bit about where you are and what the sentiment is there, because we're just observing right. it from across uh, the pond. Mm -hmm. I wish I could transport you over here. You know, I was with somebody yesterday who's in his 60s, uh, and, and you know, I'm in, right now where I am, and I'm in sort of the country side, and, you know, the countryside is huge supporters of the monarchy, and I was with somebody in his 60s, and we, together when we learned uh, that Queen Elizabeth had died, and he said to me, do you know, since a young boy, I've carried around a picture of the Queen mm -hmm in my wallet, wow. the same picture he has had in his wallet for over 50 years. Yeah. And he's not alone. You know, this is, you know, this queen has been in people's lives their entire life. Right. And it's, I think it's, it's also uh, poignant to remember that when you walk into many people's houses, it's not, it's not odd uh, to find a framed picture of the queen in people's sitting rooms. Yeah. You know, it's not odd that people, you know, people still have their tea at four o'clock um, here every single day, mm -hmm. and they will have that tea in their sitting room with the, the framed photo of the queen. That's how important she was. She was a part of people's lives um, in their sitting rooms, um, you know, in, during those periods of difficulty, she was people's rock. Well, Julie, I mean, if you think about it, you're talking about 70 years. So there's probably a huge majority part of the population that only knows yeah. one queen, one monarch. I mean, you know, that's, I mean, that's it. We thought she'd last forever, I guess. Right. I mean, the majority of the country. You know, has only you know that that's it, and and I think we also need to remember that the national anthem over here is "God Save mm -hmm. the Queen" or whoever is uh, on the throne, and that will change. And I think it will be very, it will be very difficult for some people 
to hear those words change and to, to God point, Julie, save the king. To that point, what does the future now look mm -hmm. like? But prior to the, the Queen's death yesterday, I think that people, when you talked about King Charles, uh, well, Prince Charles, now King Charles, as mm -hmm. succeeding, there was a lot of uncertainty and, on, and people didn't really like to discuss it, uh, unsettling. Um, but now that she has passed, I believe that there will be this uh, warmth towards him and open arms because, you know, he is an extension of her. And because she meant so much to the British people and also to people around the world, that in order to keep her a part of you, we need to accept the king that that Prince Charles, well, king that uh, the king that Charles will be, mm -hmm. and he will be a different king. And but change is good. We must mm -hmm. remember that change is good. And. And Queen Elizabeth wanted it this way. She said it in that statement in February that she hoped that Camilla would be accepted as Queen Consort. Did you feel over the years that it was a, a mellowing, though, of the Queen? Sort of like, you know, when there's, the parent is very strict, the grandparent is a little softer, a great-grandparent lets the child get away with anything. Did she soften somewhat over the years from, uh, through her monarchy? I wouldn't say necessarily that she she softened so much. You know, we just have to look at Mexit. Um, you know, she was very hard. There, that was a hard line mm -hmm. right there. So I don't believe that that she softened. I just think we saw less of her. Mm -hmm. But when it came to to her speaking or putting out statements, um, she was still the same queen that she you know was 70 years ago. Julie, Julie, the American Viscountess, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much for having me.